Ever wondered why your friend's diet doesn't work for you? It's as confusing as an avocado in a fruit salad. Picture this, you're navigating through a maze of diets, blindfolded. One path leads to calorie restriction, another to carb control, and yet another to protein paradise. There's even a path leading to the just stop eating extreme. Sounds daunting, right? But don't fret, we're here to guide you through this labyrinth. So buckle up nutrition navigators as we embark on this deliciously confusing journey of diets. Imagine having a budget for your daily calories, like shopping on a shoestring budget. Now isn't that a fun way to think about calorie restriction diets? They're all about limiting your daily calorie intake. Think of it as a fiscal plan for your food. You've got to spend wisely to stay within your limits, and boy, it can feel like a real shopping spree sometimes. Now, if we're talking about shopping, let's not forget the cron diet. That's calorie restriction with optimal nutrition. It's like being on a budget, but still aiming to buy the best quality products. You're striving to reduce your caloric intake by about 20%, but you're still meeting your daily nutritional needs. Quite the balancing act, isn't it? So, yes, it can be a struggle. It's like trying to buy a whole new wardrobe with just a handful of cash. But remember, it's not just about counting calories. It's about making those calories count. Carbs have been painted as the villains, like Darth Vader in the world of diets. Let's face it, who hasn't been on a carb-restrictive diet at some point? Popular diets such as South Beach, Atkins, and Zone have us running scared from carbs like they're a chainsaw-wielding maniac in a horror movie. But are carbs really the baddies here? You see, in healthy individuals, most carbs are used for energy. So they're not just sitting there plotting to convert themselves into fat. However, carb-restrictive diets often lead to rapid weight loss. But wait, before you start celebrating, it's mainly due to water loss. And there's a dark side too. They may pose risks due to high intake of saturated fats and restriction of nutrient-rich foods. So it's like being invited to a party, but only the dubious characters show up and all your good friends are left off the guest list. So carbs aren't always the bad guys, but they must be enjoyed in moderation. Ever fancied being a caveman feasting on mammoth steaks all day? Welcome to high protein diets. Yes, this is about diets like the paleo, where you chow down on protein rich food. They argue that our bodies aren't quite ready for processed foods. Maybe they're onto something, or perhaps they're just pining for the days of saber-toothed tigers and cave paintings. High protein diets do have their perks. Foods rich in protein take longer to digest, which helps keep hunger at bay and potentially reduces your calorie intake. They also promote nutrient absorption, which is a big plus. But don't go sharpening your spears just yet. These diets can be a bit short on dietary fiber, which might lead you to some let's say, prehistoric digestive issues. Also remember, a diet that works for one caveman might not work for another. We're all unique after all. So if you fancy channeling your inner caveman, this might be the diet for you. But remember, not all of us were cut out for the hunter-gatherer lifestyle. From eating cotton balls to sleeping for days, some diets are as bizarre as pineapple on pizza. Extreme diets like these may promise quick weight loss, but they're about as effective as a chocolate teapot. They often lead to water weight loss and unpleasant side effects like dizziness and dehydration. It's like trying to run a marathon in flip-flops. It's just not practical or healthy. Then there's the dreaded yo-yo effect. You know, when you lose weight dramatically only to gain it back, and sometimes even more, faster than you can say double cheeseburger. It's like a cruel game of snakes and ladders where the ladder is short and the snake is a python. Studies show that most people regain their lost weight within three years. So if you're tempted by a diet that promises you'll drop pounds faster than a hot potato, remember the wise words of your grandmother. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Remember, if a diet seems too good to be true, it probably is. So which diet actually works? It's like finding a needle in a haystack, right? Well, not exactly. It turns out the best diet isn't a one size fits all solution, but one tailored to your unique needs and preferences. It's about balance, not quick fixes or extreme measures. Think of it as a culinary journey, not a crash course. So, nutrition navigators, remember the best diet is the one that works for you. All right, nutrition navigators, that's it for today's nutrition navigation. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. We'd love to hear about your own diet experiences too, so drop us a comment below. And remember, the journey to better health isn't a race, it's a marathon. So stay patient and keep experimenting until you find what works best for you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until then, remember, your journey is unique to you. Stay tuned, this is your Nutrition Navigator signing off.